Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a really informal, fun, get ready with me and I'm going to be chatting. It's going to be a kind of go-to look. If I look tired, then you are correct. I was up all night for work, I can technically say. So basically what happened was Best Fiends, a new game, like an app, uh, got in touch with me and they asked to work together so I was like yeah I love me some gaming when I'm traveling it's really good to have games on my phone and stuff like that um, for when I'm not working so I downloaded this game and I I was up till half twelve last night and I had to wake up at six o'clock this morning playing this game so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about you start off and it's like your own little world make your way up and I'll just show you a random level I'm on level 33 which is pretty good going considering how long I've played it. You get your little family, your little team of people, and you, you they level up. So what you do is you can connect your little leaves. I like leaves, they're powerful. And then your little guy, who the leaf guy, gets the leaves and then it kills the slugs. So the aim of the game is to get a certain amount of these colours or a certain amount of slugs. There's a new quest at level 100, and if you beat it, you get to win gold you and can diamonds. You buy fun stuff. So, like I said, it's free. I would quite like, just so I don't feel bad about it anymore, if you would all go and download it as well. So, you can let me know how you get on. And it means that I'm not a, this, the only saddle that's addicted to this game. So I'm going to tie my hair up. Thank you very much for wanting to work with me. Seriously. That's what they're called. The people that made the brand. The people that made the app are called Seriously. Um, and obviously I've put the link down below for you to all go and download it. And then we can have a kind of Best Fiends AA group in about a week's time when you're all in my state. Okay, let's just make up. So basically what's happening right now is it's really early in the morning. I've woke up. And I'm working all day in the salon. I've only got a couple of weeks left. So I'm working 9 to 5, what is a pretty standard day actually, which is nice. Um, straight after that, me and a couple of friends are going to go and see Beyonce. So I am so excited, but basically what I need to happen right here is um, I need to wake up to stay on all day. I need it to be nice all day. So what I've done is I've used my Bobbi Brown face base, which I know works. Um, I have been using this primer for a while now and it's amazing. It's the Hangover X Too Faced Primer. And it smells like coconut and it's really nice and it's a really nice like texture. And I just put that on top of my Bobbi Brown and it's just so... Mm. Like see right now with my, my vitamin enriched face base and this on my face it smells like a cocktail. So because I'm a wee bit paler I'm just going to use the Becca with a tiny wee bit of the luminous silk. So usually I've got one pump Becca, two pump luminous silk. See so I've switched it around. So using my Smith 115 obviously we're going to stipple that one all over. The good thing about this tutorial is this is actually how quick I usually get ready. Sometimes I give myself almost too much time to record so I end up just sitting and taking ages whereas today I did what any normal person would do and I snooze for 45 minutes. So yeah I thought this was going to be a really good wee video to do just showing you guys exactly how I get ready in the mornings considering sometimes I miss out steps and exactly for example I'm doing my foundation first uh, today which I've started doing anyway but just in case I don't think I've done that many videos of me doing my foundation first so that's pretty cool and then when Best Fiends got in touch and wanted to sponsor the video I was like yes under eyes so I've been using this concealer if I can find it yes so I've been using this concealer for, since I got it, every day since I got it. It's called Tarte Shape Tape. It is the best. 
I don't know, oh, someone's going to ask me how I feel about it compared to creamy concealer. Um, I probably like it best here, if I'm honest. Look how, look how huge the tube is. It's a huge tube. I think it's like double the size of the creamy concealer. And I like to put my concealer everywhere. So, and it's got a huge big top. So see, the wee creamy concealer is a really tiny, tiny little applicator. The shape tape's like chunky. So it covers tons of space. And you'll just see, it. I just love it. I think it's amazing. I think it wears really nicely. Um, I'm going to show you how I set it in a second. And then that wee routine that I've done every day since I've got it has really made a difference. Bring that right down my neck just to make sure. Perfect, right, okay. Really happy with that coverage. Um, yeah, I just love the, that product. Shape tape's done something special to my face. Okay, we're going to put on the... It's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder and I get a fair wee bit of this on my brush and I just... I've still not decided what to do with my eyes. Oh! Itchy! Okay, and that is genuinely where a powder at the moment just underneath my eyes. But do you see how bright and smooth it makes them? It also makes my eyes look really small because there's nothing on them, so let's fix that. Um, I'm going to go in with Lay and Low Paint Pot. As always guys, I know that I'm firing through this really quickly, but this is real time and I've got work. <laughs> I've got work to get to. Um, Lay and Low Paint Pot as always, and as always, of course, I'll list everything down below. Um, the brush I apply this with is really stupid. It's a big Zoeva, what's it called? A face paint vegan brush. But I just love it for applying it because it does it in about five seconds. And time is of the essence. Okay. And then I'm a big weirdo. I'm going to go back to my skin. And I've got my favourite ever product. Marc Jacobs Glow Stick. I think, honestly, I think this is one of my favourite products that's come out this year. Uh, I'm going to grab my Becca Opal, my life, my love, my everything. And that's what you were all waiting for. Um, as for me doing the full face highlighter challenge, I'm not sure if you really, really, really want me to do it, then I will. If I get enough of you guys underneath this video telling me to do it, then I will. Okay, now we're going to bronze mascara up and I've just been using my Dark Tan from MAC, my Mineralized Skin Finish, my MSF. And it's so nice for bronzer up. I know what I'm going to do today. I'm going to do pretty much the same makeup I did yesterday, but I didn't take a picture, but it's so nice. It's um, really quite different for me as well. But considering I did it yesterday, it can be called a go-to look because I've done it two days in a row. And it's quick. It's quicker than a big old smoky eye. Super bronze. Okay, bit of blusher. We're going to use a tart one. I love this. It's called Sensual. I use it every day of life. I'm not a huge fan of blushers, but when I find one that's so natural and it's just really lovely, so I'm going to get tons of that. So when I find one that I like, I'll just use it every day. And what you can do now, um, I'm going to do this anyway. Chanel Loose Powder in Translucent 2. Um, I have used this for quite a while. I really do like it. Uh, what I like to do with it is get some on my brush. I like to buff my contour slightly with it and it powders the skin underneath. It's not baking because I'm still using my brush but it's a similar A similar thing. Uh, I like my contour really sharp these days, so if I'm offending anyone, I'm not sorry. <laughs> okay, let's do brows. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Beloved Number no. 7 Mini Sable Brush. Brush through my brows, get rid of any excess product, because obviously I do my, my face first now. I get foundation in my brows. So I just brush through them next to get rid of the, that gets rid of the most part. And then we're going to go in with dark brown dip brow, same old, same old. And I'm just going to carve out my brows. Mm. 
well, I say carve out, I mean just pencil them in. If you guys want me to do an uh, updated tutorial on how to do brows now, um, because it's changed again obviously, I do my skin first now, um, let me know. To be fair, the technique's pretty similar, but different order and all that. I suppose they're a bit more natural now, eh? But um, yeah, I cut about 10 minutes off my makeup time by not carving them out, so it makes a huge difference. Okay, I'm happy with them. Um, always remember to close your dip brow so it doesn't dry out. And now I'm gonna go in with my Brow Build by La Masca. I still go between Gimme Brow and Brow Build to be honest, but this stuff's real nice. It's La Masca's new brow gel and it's got sweet fibres in it. So it kind of builds them up as well, which is nice considering I'm going a wee bit more natural with my brows. This kind of gives a wee bit more depth. And then I always just kind of brush the front straight up. My eyebrows are so dark naturally that I find it quite difficult to get a, an ombre brow. So I thought about bleaching them, but then I remembered the time I shaved the ends off and that wasn't very good. I'm going to go in with an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use this colour here. It's just Beaches and Cream by Makeup Geek. It's the nicest transition shade, I would say. And I'm just going to use that all over my lid just to set the lay and low paint pot. And then I'm going to use a wee bit underneath my eyes as well just to set that because I don't get right up underneath the lash line with my little uh, Laura Mercier powder. Um, now I'm going to go in with my bigger Smith brush which is the 232 and we're going to go in with the shade from Makeup Geek Frappy. And I'm just going to create a wee bit of definition in my crease, nothing crazy. I'm going to leave it pretty natural today. My eyes, I mean, my skin, I'm fully aware I've got a lot of foundation on. And now we're going to use coffee to wake ourselves up. We're going to use Kat Von D Trooper, obviously, best liner ever. And I'm just going to use that, yeah, I'm going to do a tiny little flicks. Different, but it'll be nice, I promise. And you see how that just totally elongates my eye and gets ready for some lashes. Okay, so I need to make this one the same as this one because I like this one better. The lashes I'm going to use, I made yesterday. So I got a really lovely wee package from House of Lashes. Um, and the lashes I'm using are the little tiny, let me get this right, Temptress Wispies. I'll write that down below. And I'm putting little singles on top of them. So you know the little cluster of lashes that you can get. Um, and look... I made my own eyelash so it's really really thick on the outside and then it's really wispy at the front so I just I really like them I wore them all day yesterday they were really really comfortable so I'm going to wear them again today so yeah we're going to go and see Beyonce tonight straight after work we're going to go for some food in the south side she's playing Hampden Park which is Scotland's national stadium so I think it's our biggest venue to be honest she's playing there so we're going to go there if the weather's bad we are screwed because it's outside um, and then tomorrow, I am when I get home, I need to do my fake tan. Um, and then after I've done my fake tan tonight, I need to sleep, wake up, wash it off, go to work. I'm working until five again, and then I need to go straight to my hairdressers and get my hair finished. Who knows what it's going to be like? I do. Um, and then. Me and Jack are driving straight up to Perth and one of my friends, Jane, who owns Onyx, one of, one of the owners of Onyx, is getting married. So we're going to the wedding and it's going to be really nice. It's quite fun making your own lashes, never done it before. I went to go and get my lip stuff, so I wore this yesterday. It's the new Urban Decay Vice range and this is the colour 714. So I'm going to line my lips.
And then I'm actually going to put the lipstick on, which is the same colour, 714. I'm going to put that on first, and then I'm going to push out the lip line a little bit more, but I just love it. And I obviously wore it yesterday, so I did the last in test, and it lasted all day. I had it on from like half past nine till half past nine. And I topped up maybe twice. Because uh, it's a lipstick, it's not a liquid lipstick. So my hair is super beachy and light at the moment. Um, which makes my face look more bright, which is great. Um, and yeah, this is exactly how I did my makeup yesterday. And I just thought it was really nice. And I actually, someone, I can't remember who it was, but someone said I looked nice. They are like, oh, you look nice today. I was like, thanks. <laughs> So I decided to do this makeup again. I just thought it was a wee bit kind of easier for a time scale. For example, the one we had, I'm just going to put a wee bit of Becca Opal apparently on my crotch because it just broke off. Um, I'm going to put a wee bit of Becca Opal just in the inner corner. Um, I hope you guys like this video. As always, I'll link everything down below. Thanks again for sponsoring the video. Best Fiends, you guys. That was great. That was really nice of you. And I hope you guys like this tutorial. See you next time.